Welcome to the Reports Analysis Division web video series on FECFILE, the Commission's free electronic filing software. In this clip, I will walk you through how to enter operating expenditures, including staff reimbursements and credit card payments. Before starting, you will need to open your existing Campaign Committee database in FECFILE. Make sure to always use an existing committee file rather than creating a new one. Also, have the Getting Started manual on hand and watch the earlier videos in our series if you haven't already. For more information, visit the Commission's website or find links in the About section below. Let's begin by going to the Reports tab. Make sure you have created your report and have it highlighted. Today we'll be working with the July quarterly. To create a new transaction, first go to the Summary page view. Because we're creating an operating expenditure, double-click or right-click on line 17. The operating expenditure box will open. Select the payee's name from the scroll box below in the name field. If the contact is not in your database, press tab on your keyboard to add the information. Make sure to choose the correct contact type. Here we'll choose business, financial institution, etc. Now I'm going to enter the name and address of the vendor that was paid. You can see here that when I click OK, it will be added to the name field. Once you've selected or created the contact, you can fill in the required fields. For operating expenditures, those fields are name, date, amount, and purpose, labeled description. For the purpose, make sure to be as descriptive as possible. Please note, the category code is not required. The check number and account identifier boxes are for internal bookkeeping purposes and do not appear on the face of the report. When you're done, click OK. Back on the summary page, you can see that the amount of the transaction appears in the This Period Itemized column next to line 17. This is because the payment to this vendor was over $200 and therefore must be itemized. Keep in mind, for a payment to a vendor that has not reached the $200 itemization threshold, this amount will appear in the This Period Unitemized column. Next, I'm going to cover how to enter a staff reimbursement. This will require us to show two entries, a payment to the staff member and a memo entry to show where they spent their money. A memo entry shows supplemental or explanatory information on a reporting schedule and does not count towards the total figure for the schedule. In addition to staff reimbursements, payments to credit card companies and payroll companies also need to list supporting memo entries to disclose the ultimate recipient of the funds. To enter a reimbursement, double-click on line 17 of the summary page and enter the payment to the person that is being reimbursed. Make sure to enter all required fields. In the description field, provide an acceptable description such as reimbursement, meals for volunteers. Next, go to the Disbursements view and find the transaction that needs supporting memo entries. Right-click on the transaction and click Transaction Split. Then, click Add New. A new transaction window will open. Fill out the original vendor disbursement information and click OK when finished. These will all be memoed automatically. Repeat this process until all of the supporting memo entries for the payment or reimbursement have been entered. After entering all the supporting memo entries, click Close to return to the Disbursements view. Be sure to save your data set. Let's take a look at the transactions we entered. You can preview the report by clicking on the button that looks like a printer. Then click on the line number you want to see. Here is the regular operating expense for printer ink and below we can see the staff reimbursement and corresponding memo entry. Congratulations! Now you're ready to enter operating expenditures in FECFILE. I encourage you to watch the next videos in our series to learn more about FECFILE and empower yourself to file your reports easily and accurately. Thanks for watching.